Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens. I'm going to do a quick video on a conversation I had with an old time gardener of herbs. Um, he loved the my garden and all that, but <clears throat> they, uh, they're they wondering why I don't cut my, this, this plant here, all these and yeah. behind me. Hi son, you don't have a shirt on? No, I didn't have a shirt on. Okay. So, he was saying, how come you don't cut the herbs all the way to the ground? You're going to have the branchiness and, you know, these are live twigs. These aren't dead. The tips of these twigs is what promotes growth. <clears throat> well, there's a reason why I do that. The, okay, go get a shovel. We'll go gardening in a second. There's a reason why I do that. One, I'm an efficient gardener. I like to be as efficient as I can be. The lower these herbs are to cut... Like he wants me to cut them all the way to the ground so they get bushier from the floor. The lower they have to cut. Okay, get the big shovel. The lower I have to cut. Son, go get a shovel. Yeah, I'll get one for you right now. You know, sometimes I think about editing this stuff out, but all of you that are watching have to know how my life is as gardening. It's not all peachy, it's not all easy, and I always get scared if he has a shovel in his hand. Okay, just... It's just counting. I know. But I don't Okay, so, being efficient as a gardener. The lower I have to cut, the more I have to bend over. It's hard on my back. Now imagine all this has to be cut. That's a lot of work. So the higher they are, the less I have to bend over. Another thing. By them being above the ground, above the soil like this, you see the, the brown right here, and then the herbs are up here. Above the soil, they're not gonna get dirty as much. They're gonna be in the soil a lot. And there's gonna be a lot less, compared to what it used to be, when they were up to the ground, the herbs all the way down to the ground, there's a lot less insects on the leaves. So preparing the herbs and cleaning them afterwards, you're more ensured that there's less bugs or snails or anything on these herb plants so tips are I don't have to bend over as much the herbs won't be as muddy or dirty and there's less insects so let your herb plants grow higher that's what they're naturally there for they naturally want to do that I know it looks kind of weird but they naturally want to do that you know in the wild there's no one farming them yes there's probably animals that eat them down but not many animals like the potencies of these herbs to eat them to the ground like grass over and over and over they probably instinctively eat it to help their stomach or other ailments but other than that they leave it alone so the herbs grow up the inner part of the herb starts the leaves start dying off but the the twigs are still alive and then the the leaves grow taller and taller from a foot above the ground so, because I used to have people wanting to grow in a raised bed like this, I don't want to bend over as much. Well, just grow it like this, and don't bend over as much. Alright, anyways. Oh, you got the quail eggs? Give me the quail eggs. Thank you. Look at the quails. Yeah, quails. I want to pet... Oh, you dropped one. Yeah, because I can't hold a camera and do this. Alright, everyone. Dad. I gotta go. You need to put a shirt on. I don't want to put a on. Yeah, you have to. All right, everyone. No! Happy gardening. <laughs> okay, I don't want For all you that have uh, toddlers in a gardening with you or young kids, you know, bless you. Because it's not easy. And gardening is already kind of difficult as it is. All right, everyone. See you later. Happy gardening. Bye.